Welcome to Matt Commentary, Comments on Politics, Society, Art and Culture. Today, biology is stronger than sociology. In a functioning democracy, freedom of opinion and freedom of science are just as important as open discourse, unencumbered by censorship, different opinions and dialectical friction. But these democratic achievements are increasingly under threat. For example, a doctoral student at the Humboldt University in Berlin wanted to give a lecture on the topic of bisexuality on the occasion of a long night of science. The topic was the biological fact that in the reproductive sense there are only the sexes male and female, only sperm and egg. This immediately provoked gender activists. They threatened the uh, student and the university with demonstrations and even worse, with violence. As a result, the university cancelled the lecture for safety reasons in the sense of visitors and students. What probably overtakes the intellectual capacities of the outraged gender activists is the distinction between biological and social gender. Biologically, there is so far only male or female, with the exception of rare intersexual cases. Socially, everyone is and should be free in a democratic and liberal society to choose their gender, including gender-correcting surgery. If, however, as planned by the German Traffic Light Coalition, one will soon be able to change one's gender unbureaucratically and even annually at the registry office or even at the immature age of 14 against the will of one's parents. If that happens, the state will become the vicarious agent of a manageable and all the more vociferous minority that puts ideology instead of reality and a common good and takes the majority society with its problems as hostage. A look at sport shows how blinded their criticism is. Here, two demands are being made to allow trans athletes to participate in women's competitions. The World Swimming Federation, in consultation with leading endocrinologists, lawyers, sports physiolog physiologists, and human rights activists decided that trans women should only be allowed to compete in women's events if they were already taking testosterone blockers at the onset of male puberty. The reason for this is the massive physical performance differences between male and female bodies. Men have more muscle mass and less fat mass than women, a larger heart, larger lungs. In short, they have more strength and endurance. Neither ideology, neither boycotts, neither hate slogans are of any use here. Biology takes pre precedence over sociology. The Nobel Prize winner for biology, Nusslein Vollhardt, expressed her indignation about this in the German women's magazine Emma. She said, of course there is a range in gender, the social sex, whereas in biological sex there is only female or male. Out, end.